Uh, welcome back folks. Today we have three more products to unbox. So these two are connected to astrophotography and this is for visual astronomy. So let's start with the first one. So this is a Morpheus. So this is a telescope eyepiece. So in one of my previous videos, I unboxed the ZWO ASI 2600MC camera for astrophotography. But if you're not into astrophotography and you want to do visual astronomy, and I highly, highly recommend that if you're starting astronomy, to start with visual astronomy. Try to locate the stars first, and once you get a hang of it, and uh, alignment and how to lock your telescope to the North Star, you can start astrophotography, but always, always start with visual astronomy. And for that, you need an eyepiece to connect to your telescope. And my telescope does not come with an eyepiece. Uh, most of the telescopes that you buy will come with an eyepiece, but mine doesn't. So I purchased the Badder Morpheus 4.5 millimeter, two inches. Uh, so this is the, the input to my telescope. Uh, it accepts two inches uh, eyepieces. And the length is 4.5 millimeters. Let's open it up. So inside the box, straight away, you see some paperwork, some marketing for the company, and then we have the eyepiece itself. It's quite heavy. Uh, I think it's made of metal. The construction quality is quite nice. So it says Morpheus. 76 so this side is the 2 inch that you insert inside the telescope and I'm sorry this is so this is the 2 inch portion that goes inside the telescope and this is the eyepiece side of so taking this off all right clean and shiny. Uh, it also has an eye relief cup here so you can fold it all the way up for eye relief. Uh, it's pretty standard. This uh, this is this portion is glow in the dark so if you turn off the lights I think the 45 Morpheus 76 close up. So let me close it back down and put this part. Yep, this is the part that goes inside the telescope. Pretty standard with eyepieces and also inside the box with the Morpheus line of telescopes, or I think with a battery, you also get a box to carry it. So, this is the battery planetarium box, uh, sorry, carrying case that you get. So, you can put it inside it, put it inside the case instead of taking the box everywhere. So, very neat. It's a nice touch. So, fits completely. And it is all. I think it also protects it to an extent from bumps and all. So, pretty happy that this came along with the case. So, this was the unboxing for the Bada Planetarium 4.5 millimeter eyepiece. And I'll show you why I went with the 4.5 millimeter. So, it's uh, this will give me the desired magnification that I want with my telescope. I'll show you, show you the chart later on in the video of how I calculated that. Right, so we're done with the Morpheus eyepiece. Let's put it to the side and bring this to the front. So this is the ZWO 30F mini scope. All right, so this is a tool for auto guiding. So if you're into astrophotography or you're doing astrophotography, you want to lock your camera to the North Star so that uh, there are no star trails when you do long exposures, 30 seconds. 45 seconds and all the way up to minutes uh, but sometimes polar alignment itself is not enough even with uh, polar alignment you might see SAR trails which can be frustrating uh, an elegant solution to that is doing auto guiding so what auto guiding is is that you use another small secondary camera in addition to your primary camera and you lock that camera to the target so each time you're telescope your your camera tries to uh, camera deviates from from what you're shooting the auto guider will send a signal to the telescope and bring bring it back 
you know, it, it'll slew the telescope just the right amount to focus it back so that you don't get any star trails. So this product is what's going to hold the auto guiding camera. So this is the F4 miniscope. Let's open this up. So this is where all right. This glass here at the front and in the back, this is where the auto guiding camera goes, and this is where you mount it on the telescope, like like this, uh, and the gu guiding camera goes in from here, and then you connect the you connect a cable to the guiding camera, and you then connect it back to the telescope, and that con controls the so whenever the telescope slews away from the object, uh, this would send signals back to the telescope and just t turn it the right amount of degrees to focus it back on the object. So this is a very simple uh, guide scope, has nothing special inside, the glass on one side, empty from here, and then this is where you put uh, put the guiding scope in, the guiding camera in, which we'll do in, in a while. So let's put this here, inside. So now this is the guiding camera. It did not come in the box. The box does not say 120mm, so my camera was CWO 120mm a uh, guiding camera. It is a monochrome 120mm camera, but I think this is a generic ZWO box. They send it when they don't have the right box with them, I guess. Let's open this up. We have the cable here. And this is the mini guiding camera. So this is the ASI 120mm Mini. Right. So this portion of the camera goes right here inside the guiding scope. And you have glass on the other side. And then you connect the cable here to whatever you have as a telescope control means. So I am using the ASI Air, which I'll be un unboxing in the next video, and you mount it on the ca on the telescope like this, and it would control. So other than this, so taking out the guide scope back, all right. There's nothing much to see here. Bunch of cables, more cables. This is maybe a focusing ring to extend the focus. Let's put it back in. Put this back in. So, very quickly showing you guys where I purchased all these products. I got them from OPT Telescopes. Uh, this is my usual go to place if I want to buy anything uh, related to astronomy or astrophotography. Uh, this is a great place. They have great prices. They ship it on the next day. So if anything is in stock, you, you'll you probably get it in like four to five days, depending on where you live in the US. Uh, the guide scope is $99. The mini camera, the guiding camera is $149. So you, they don't have it in stock right now. So if you purchase it, you will have to wait until it's in stock. And as soon as it is in stock, they'll ship it in within 24 hours. The Morpheus eyepiece is $239. As I said, it's 4.5 millimeters. So why I went for the 4.5 millimeters is uh, because of the magnification that I want with, with my telescope. So this is the telescope that I have. It is a Skywatcher Esprit ED 100mm telescope. The focal length for the telescope is 550mm. So the magnification that I'll get on this telescope is the focal length divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. So 550 divided by 4.5 should give me a 122x magnification. 
it's pretty good so if i would have gone with like a 10 millimeter or 20 millimeter i would have gone less than 100x magnification that is a little less than what i want so if you want higher magnification you can either go for a telescope that has a higher focal length you can go for the 8 inch uh, uh the 2000 millimeter schmidt casting telescopes from from celestron they're excellent choices to go with but for my case uh 4.5 did the trick for me so yeah that's why i went with the 4.5 millimeter telescope so that's it see you all folks next time bye